Hey guys, welcome to Benji at NGO, and I'm back with a detailed shoe review. Um, as you guys can see, I did the on feet first, and now um, it's time for the detail review. So, the shoe that we have here today is the Jordan B Loyal um, Space Jam colorway. Pretty dope colorway, um, in my opinion. I think it's a beautiful colorway. Um, as you can see, guys, I love that type of blue, like the Space Jam 11s. Um, it's a detailed jump man. Um, nothing too much, just like your everyday jump man on Jordans. As you can see, that shiny patent leather. And um, what I just noticed, actually, has speckles in the um, patent leather as well. So that was very nice detail. Um, on the side here, you actually have this nice, um, this nice leather, nothing too serious, but it's like that premium leather, but it's not premium. It's kind of like a budget type of leather, but it's kind of, it's sturdy, um, when I actually put them on my feet, uh, on my feet, sorry. Um, it, it was a sturdy type material when I put them on, so that was very cool. Um, you also see the details in the, um, on the upper, you also see like the, um, the bump, the dot, um, bubbles in the leather. Um, it's like th this kind of looks more premium, um, on the upper than the actual, um, middle of the shoe. Um, it looks kind of more, uh, leather premium type of quality. And now, um, get into the back, you actually have a lot of details here. Um, you have the 23 on the back, which is actually like the OG Space Jams, but the difference is the 23 is uh, stretched out instead of two and three on top and the bottom is uh, beside each other. So that's a pretty cool detail. And um, behind the, uh, oh yeah, and um, speaking of the 23, you actually have this uh, the spiky over overlay um, in black and that shiny black as well. So um, that's pretty cool. And um, behind this overlay, you actually have this mesh um, pull tab. It's kind of like your pull tab, but it's kind of like, you know, um, for um, ankle support or for like that protection of your foot um, when you um, put them on. So that that is not a struggle. When I put them on, it wasn't um, a struggle. I just loosened them up a bit and uh, they fit pretty well. And um, on the bottom here, you have the, um, the Jumpman um, in white. Which is pretty cool, just a plain white jump in. Um, no flaw or anything. So that's pretty cool. And then to get into the sole, we have a uh, plain white jump in. Nothing too major. Pretty cool. So, sorry if it's upside down. There you go. You can see a better look of it. And you can see the patterns behind it. And you can also see the um, the patterns on the side too. Um, sorry guys for the bottom. It looks kind of worn a little bit because I did did the on feet. But. Um, it's a pretty nice detail and it's still icy too so you have the a lot of details here you have like the circle um in the in middle um you know it, look, it looks like the jordan one as well it looks like jordan um kind of collab of different type of shoes into one shoe and um i think spent uh speaking of the um midsole you actually have the um air max bubble here which as you can see really nicely um, it's really detailed, like a um, normal Air Max shoe. So that's pretty cool. Nothing too major. The other side, same thing. And then to the insole, um, you actually have the uh, the Jumpman, um, the Jordan Jumpman logo right there in the insole, size 12. And then to the um, front side of the shoe, you have two, three. Um, for Michael Jordan's jersey number, so 23. Laces are um, just plain black laces, nothing too major, not uh, premium, just a um, budget model laces. Pretty cool and sturdy. You also have this pull tab, I mean this lace lock here that you have on the OG Jordan 6 uh, shoe, which is pretty cool um, because it's iconic to the 6 shoe. Um, so like I said before, it's, it's mixed up with all his different models in one model which just makes it look cool um you also have the uh the stitch jordan um nameplate on the tongue and uh kind of this part kind of feels a little cheap but it, it's actually sturdy like the, the other parts of the shoe um so very nice 
And then on the opposite side, um, you see the patent leather and um, plain black um, leather here. Um, kind of like that shiny type of uh, leather. Not too shiny, but shiny. And then you have the uh, the shoe eyelids right here, uh, your lace locks. Uh, not your lace locks, your shoe eyelids that you um, put your laces through. Um, very different uh, from other shoes I have. So that's pretty cool. And then, um, I think there's nothing else, uh, with the shoe. I think that's really it. Um, you know, just a plain, um, black, nice, simple, uh, Space Jam Jordan to have in the collection. Um, because, um, you know, this is kind of like a, a nice, uh, pickup for 2020. I think I would be really excited. Uh, I would definitely wear these. Um, I wouldn't recommend, I pro personally, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend wearing these for performance wise. I think these look good casually, um, but I, I probably would give them a go for performance to see how they feel. But normally, since this, I don't want this to crease. I would normally um, wear it for uh, wear it for a uh, casual sense. But I'm gonna give you one glimpse of that pan leather um, all around. As you can see, it's a little worn because I did wear them outside. So hopefully, it doesn't crease. But as you can see, that in nice. Pan leather all over. Let me give you more of that detailed. Um, it's a very nice Jordan for a budget model, like for one thirty. Um, I picked this up at Finish Line, by the way, uh, where I live at. So very nice uh, for a Jordan like this. Um, and it's not the the design might look kind of off, but really I'm starting to dig the shoe. I think the shoe looks nice. The, these are called the Be Loyals, by the way. So um, there are in stores. They're not an exclusive or a premium um, quick strike shoe. You can just buy them straight on the um, um, in stores or online. Um, they are just sitting on shelves now, so that's kind of shocking. But um, think you know, for uh, for me, I had to get this colorway in the shoe because I missed out on the 11s. So um, I really wanted this shoe because of the colorway um, for that Space Jam look. But otherwise, guys, thank you. Um, for watching um i'm gonna give you guys um you know m merch is on the way um it's coming soon uh maybe guys i might show you you know some of my jerseys um in the future and um just uh, stay tuned for more reviews in 2020 and um your boy benji angel came back with this review so i wanted to do uh do this for you guys and um hopefully you enjoy my video hopefully you give this video a like hopefully you subscribe um you know, if it wasn't for my mom buying these jeans, so, you know. BGI NGO, though, I'm out.